Mushrooms have a long history here on Earth. Remains have been found in dinosaur pits. Egyptian pharaohs reserved the delicacy for themselves because they believed mushrooms held magical qualities. Romans fed mushrooms to their warriors because they thought mushrooms gave them godlike strength. Maybe they were onto something. Mushrooms became popular in the U.S. and particularly the East Coast when William Swain, a successful florist in Kennett Square, Pennsylvania, conceived the idea of growing mushrooms beneath his greenhouse benches. Soon, others joined in their own mushroom growing businesses and the mushroom capital of the world was born. Out West, mushroom farms began popping up in the 1950s and 60s with significant growth in the 70s. During that time, mushroom farms in other parts of the country came online in places like Texas, Florida, Tennessee, the Pacific Northwest, Upper Midwest, and other areas. Today, Kennett Square, Pennsylvania, with its nearly 60 farms, leads the country in mushroom production, followed by California, Florida, Illinois, Washington, Texas, Tennessee, and others. Research shows that mushrooms are full of vitamins and nutrients, Part of a healthy diet, mushrooms are low in calories and sodium and are gluten, cholesterol, and fat-free. Its nutritional properties are a big reason why researchers are increasingly turning to mushrooms for help in the fight of certain cancers and cognitive decline research. Mushrooms are big business. The industry produces nearly 1 billion pounds of mushrooms each year with sales of more than 3 billion. They also support 21,000 jobs and over $865 million in wages. Mushroom production actually begins in a lab. Cereal grains are inoculated with mushroom spores and incubated until they develop into spawn or mushroom seeds. It takes about three weeks to produce the first mushrooms for harvest. Throughout the growing period, mushroom farmers play mother nature, manipulating water, airflow, temperature fluctuation, and more. At the farm, growers carefully prepare the growing medium for mushroom production. Farmers combine materials like hay, straw, corn cobs, cocoa shells, and horse or chicken manure and place them in stacked wooden beds mixed with the spawn. Over the course of a few weeks, mushrooms will begin to grow through the compost and will double in size each day. And every single mushroom harvested is harvested by hand. Growing mushrooms is a unique blend of recycling, science, and efficacy. This powerful combination makes them one of the most sustainably produced foods in the U.S. Mushroom growers are known as the ultimate recyclers for their ability to convert byproducts and waste from other sectors of agriculture into the compost or medium used to grow mushrooms. Because of this recycling of other agricultural crops and byproducts, Mushroom farms have a smaller environmental footprint than almost any other farm product. Growers use less than two gallons of water to produce one pound of button mushrooms. That's about 32 eight ounce glasses of water to grow, harvest, and process an entire pound of mushrooms. Producing one pound of button mushrooms takes one kilowatt hour of electricity. This is the same amount of energy as it takes to run a coffee maker for one hour each day. From the compost recipe all the way through to what you purchase in the store, one pound of mushrooms generates just 0.7 pounds of CO2 equivalents. By comparison, using one gallon of fuel emits nearly 20 pounds of CO2. And one acre of land can produce enough mushrooms in a year to fill the length of nearly 4,700 football stadiums. Even more, 900 million pounds of mushrooms is enough to circle the circumference of the globe, mushroom cap to mushroom cap, 19 times. None of this would be possible without the dedication and commitment of the workers of the industry. Growing mushrooms is a 24 hour a day, 365 day a year process. Without the workers, there would be no mushroom industry. Learn more about mushrooms by visiting the American Mushroom Institute at www.americanmushroom.org.